Bang! Hey everybody, Epictetus here. Another Smite introduction tutorial video here for you on Mr. Hebo. Talking about skill number two on the ticket, alright? We're talking about the Yellow River, Yellow Atlas River. Scrolls of the Atlas River, alright? So this is going to be what you call a dash or an escape in Smite, alright? Showing the range here. Got 70 meters, 70 feet, whatever you want to call it in Smite. And essentially what this thing does is it speeds up Hebo and any allies inside of it. And it slows down enemies. You can see the Odin slowing down there. So it can be used for team fights uh, if on Conquest you're pinched in. But mainly it's for Hebo. So I'm going to slow things down so you can see what it does when you throw it out. That straight line. I'm going to slow everybody down, and that's really what it's for, is to lift people up. You're going to see I miss there, but that's one of the combos I'm going to talk about in a later video. But that's what you see. The scrolls come rolling straight out in a straight line ahead of them, and it's basically so that Hebo can keep good positioning, use his water spout to lift people up, and then use it to cover distance since his mobility sucks, just putting it plainly. Uh, you can see these guys, they can see me, but they didn't know I was going to be coming that fast. Get a nice couple of claps in, I stay back, get a kill, and then I'm out. Cause that's what Hebo does. He's, he's really squishy, he's really slow, but he can dish out damage really fast as far as mages go. Uh, the more I talk to people, the more I main Hebo, uh, I hear he's a magical assassin, so that's a good way of looking at it. So you can see this was one I used to cover distance, and then I'm waiting for it to recall, or uh, countdown, cooldown, so then you get away. I was in bad position there, take some wide angles, let them chase, and then finish it up that way. This right here, this is an example of what not to do, all right? And obviously all these things are in arena, so they apply in other game modes, but I kick it out. Oh no, I didn't see the guys swinging from the right. There's four of them. Now my cooldown's waiting, waiting, waiting. Too long. Too long, you can't wait that long. And we're kind of stuck, dead, okay? Now, good example of how to use this. I kicked it out. There's too many enemies. Nah, screw that, I'm not even gonna use it. I'm just gonna keep good position. This was good, this was a team fight speed some guys up on the team slow the enemies down get some damage out and then i'm going to clip over and you're going to see one of my odin homies here trying to get out and if i slow down that service he had a chance to go otherwise that jump might have got him I'm just helping teammates out and again the main concepts being that he can use it to maintain positioning and execute burst damage because that's what you want to be doing with hebo cool so that's what we got real quick hitter just showing you guys how to use the number two if you're watching videos like this obviously Use Arena for timing. Try to get to Joust and Conquest as fast as you possibly can. That's all I got for now. The next one in the playlist is uh, going to be number three, how to use that water spout. Talk to you guys soon.